Welcome back. End frame series. That's what we're talking about. Smith and Wesson. This is a Model 29 with a three inch barrel. <laughs> uh, this is a Lou Horton. Uh, uh, this is a Lou Horton uh, custom here. Uh, they, they did not do very many of these, from what I understand. And I mean, it's not like this. When I mean that, it's not like a normal production thing that was like you know there was uh, hundreds of thousands of them out there. Uh, there was not a not a whole lot of them. I saw one of these years ago. I saw pictures of them, and I never in my wildest dreams think I thought I would be holding one in my hand. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I got very lucky. And I was able to pick this up some years back and you know just I kind of you know I remember that chill I just kind of grabbed it and ran <laughs> ran out the door before he said hey wait a minute that price tag was wrong or something like that because these things are stupid money uh, now I can't even and that's the reason why I would not this is one that I just would not sell because I would never be able to replace this um, I let alone not not so much that I wouldn't see one again I'm sure I'd see another one because they're out there they, they do pop up from time to time and uh, you know as one of my subscribers said you know they kind of sometimes these things go in spurts sometimes all of a sudden there's just nothing there's just like nothing but feathers out there and then all of a sudden you got nothing but chicken going on so but uh, this is definitely uh, one of those really cool um, kind of odd sizes that they did and what is uh, unique about this is it's in blue uh, I had something like this in stainless and now you can get these things uh, in stainless now, the 629 stainless variant of this. But this is a vintage, uh, I believe this is a Dash 3. It's not pinned or recessed, but it is a round butt. And that's what really is neat about them. And now the grips, the grips alone on this thing is a huge collector's item. I mean, the grips alone. Those, uh, I guess they call them like a combat magnum or you know the, the it's got those big finger grooves that i really like super cool stuff you know of course uh you know it's all vintage you got the firing pin nose on the hammer you know no key lock none of that stuff and uh when i got this it really was not um it really was not fired all that much you know you could tell like inside here the you know it had been open and closed a whole lot but there's no uh a donut as uh bob dunlap would call it uh, you know there's none of that going on it was a uh, pretty clean forcing cones in pretty decent shape all up in here you know another way you can tell too is notice how on the extractor rod it retains most of its uh bluing you know, when when, the, when these things have been worked and ran a lot and, you know, popping the shells, this thing, could, if it's silver, you can pretty much guess that thing has been ran through a lot. Somebody has had a lot of fun with it. So, now this is something that uh, I, I'm not, you know, yeah, I, I don't, I take it out, I shoot it, you know, yeah, it's got a turn ring that I've probably put on it myself by taking out and shooting it. It's got some holster wear right here that uh, you know I don't care uh, it was just something that I thought was super cool to have uh, it was an opportunity to grab one at the time and so I did you know and now I mean you look at these things it's almost scary to look at prices of them but I uh, you know I just I, I had to have it and it is a really neat end frame I like the end frames a lot and this is definitely uh, one that we hold you know 44 magnum in polished blue and six shots I mean come on it just what a gorgeous package you know look at those sights and everything and i mean it's a monster it's a monstrous revolver awesome stuff